Samara School with the so-called specialized national class of education. Here, the most advanced gypsies, those who at 11, 12, or 13 years old are allowed to go to school, even if not for long. Reading by syllables is the maximum knowledge that a local Roma camp will allow to get to their children. At the age of 14, they will all be forcibly taken away from school. And the children will be married so that they do not overreact. Irina Prina, director of secondary school number 52 in Samara, says, Last year we married a 12-year-old student. We fought for her very much even frightened her parents by the police. They said to them, you will be jailed for this. They were frightened at first, but two weeks later they played a wedding. The child stopped studying at school. Not finishing the training, young people begin to marry. The consent of the young no one asks. If they are not closely related and have not been familiar from childhood, they will only get acquainted on the day of the engagement. To object to the elders is tantamount to expelling from the clan, says the 50-year-old great-grandmother of 14-year-old group Janami Hai. It is in any gypsy camp. If there is a beautiful girl, you must have to take her first. It is necessary that I take her for my grandson, for my son. I was 12 when I got married. I knew everything. And now I have children, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren. And my great-grandchildren are already married. This is the law we have. This is the most important law for Roma. The concept of law in the Roma is a synonym for tradition, an ancient, strictly national, passed on from the elders to the younger ones. All other laws, invented not by the Roma, and written on paper, like the family code of the Russian Federation, they do not consider like the law and do not comply. An ancient match-making ritual, the father lists the advantages of his beloved daughter, virginity, healthy teeth, ability to extract and count money, education of the third class. For every virtue, the father asks for a gold coin. Matchmakers on the part of the groom are politely but stubbornly trying to bring down the price and put the gold coins into a glass of wine. As a result, matchmakers bargained on 12 gold coins and declared the child a bride. Says the uncle of the groom Drago Mihai, we pay 12 coins for the bride. We pay for her happiness and for her virginity. As a ransom. Yes, it happens in one of the most civilized gypsy camps of Russia, Kosogorsky. Members of this camp, Kotliars, are artisans. They do not consider work to be a disgrace. Like other gypsies, since ancient times, Kotliars combined tinning boilers with small crime and buying up stolen goods. In our time, they are engaged in the construction and purchase of scrap metal. Some even can afford Porsche Cohen, a modern analogue of the gypsy wagon. Four unmarried 10 to 12 year old girlfriends of the bride, a beautiful dance is a chance to please a beautiful and rich gypsy. Their movements are smooth and tidy, so as not to touch the men with the hem of the skirts. Women's skirts and shoes, according to the gypsy customs, are considered dirty, unworthy things. With a man or boy who touched them, they will not talk for a month because he is desecrated. It's time to collect presents. Vases with flowers, dishes, or food processes are not accepted. Such gifts are considered a sign of rossification. Gypsies accept as a gift only money or gold. For five minutes the guests gave half a million rubles, or 9,000 US dollars. In former times, they stole horses for a gift to the newlyweds, but now this is no longer relevant. Meanwhile, the bride is already waiting in the bedroom. She dutifully waits for the first man in her life. Diana Neister, the bride says, My name is Diana. I am 14 years old. Do you want to marry? 
Of course not. None of the our girls wants to marry. Do you love the bridegroom? I do not know. In the Soviet Union, such weddings were treated unequivocally as a crime against the sexual inviolability of minors and criminally prosecuted. On their first wedding night, the juvenile groom and bride were held in the children's room of the police and their parents in the pre-detention cell. In the modern era of tolerance and multiculturalism, no one is trying to make these citizens of Russia respect the laws of Russia. Says 14-year-old fiancé Nikita Mihai, the laws of the gypsies are like that. All marry early, in 13 to 14 years, sometimes even in 11 years. This is an ancient law. You can get married at 18, but it's too late. By the age of majority, every Roma married couple already has two or three children. This circumstance helps young people to get rid of the obligation to serve in the Russian army. And girls receive a mother's capital from the state for the birth of a second child in the amount of 455,000 rubles, or 8,000 US dollars. Almost no one uses their right to register their marriage under the law of Russia. It is beneficial for large gypsies to receive state benefits as single mothers for life. Only men are at the festive table. The ladies prepare food in the kitchen and help the newlyweds in the bedroom. The ritual of deprivation of virginity traditionally takes place with three respected women witnesses. Here the women came out and celebrate the ritual with a merry dance. As we have already said, this camp is very civilized, unlike the others, and therefore they did not to hang a bedsheet covered with female blood. Here they confine ourselves to a symbolic red shawl, at least in our presence. Victor Mihai, father of the groom, this wedding is just super. I wish everyone to celebrate their wedding as beautifully as I do. Everything is super in our village. Happiness and health to the newlyweds.